Now, uh, now we'll continue to the question three、um, section. One point one. Question three. So, ah,、uh, like this question, we just need to make sure to read the picture correctly. So let's、uh, make the picture. Ah,、uh, it's X and the Y. And there is one over here, and one over here, and the maximum is three, and the pole goes through one, and here is two. And here is one. Oh, sorry, it's a negative one, negative two. And and here is negative one. And the、uh, the right side, the x is go to two, three, four. It's a four. And. The end point is less than one. It's like this. So, let's answer the question. Ah,、uh, first is state the value of f one. F one means when x equal one. So we can see. Ah,、uh, yeah. Here is three. So f one. Is equal three. B estimate the value of f negative one. So negative one is when x equal negative one. And here is not. We cannot get the exact number, but we can estimate. It's about a one third. So C is for what value of x? X equal what? That f x equal one. So here we just may check f x. That means y equal one. We can check the picture and get the x equal zero. D. Estimate the value of x. What time get f x equal zero? F x equal zero. That means this point. This point also is no exactly number for x, but we can、um, estimate is about the x equal negative. Two third. Yeah, here is f x equal one third. So the last two, um, e state the domain and of x. So we can check the picture. Is the x is from greater equal than negative two and the less than. Are equal than four. Range. That means f x. From the picture, we can got f x is less than、uh, or equal than three, and greater or equal than negative one. This is a range. The last one. We need to check. On what interval is f is increasing? So we can check 
the picture can get the left side part is increasing. That means increasing is fx is greater along with the x. For the right side, you can see the x become greater, but the, the fx is smaller, smaller, smaller. So that part is not. Only the left side is right. So for this part, we can write x is less than 1 or equal than 1 and the greater equal than negative 2. This is the interval. So this is all the question 3, the answer and the how do we think about the question.